Hey everybody, it's Steve Garfield from stevegarfield.com and we're here at the Taylor Made Performance Lab. All right, Steve, well, we're putting uh, reflective markers on your body. And again, there's going to be 28 of them on your body uh, that, that six cameras in the room are going to shine some infrared light down onto that makes these markers reflect so we can track your motion. If we see there's something that um, in your posture that we want to change because it can affect some of the equipment, we certainly want to make some changes and some suggestions. So it's a fitting, but it also can be somewhat of a learning experience as well. Here's your setup. Again, we were able to see your swing wow. from anywhere. Your <laughs> um, we can look down through your body if we want um, and see what you see. Whoa, this is way better than the iPhone. What we see on your impact with the six iron is a slightly upward strike of the golf ball. So this up path right here shows us that as you make contact, let's back up your swing a little bit. You can see you tend to hit a little bit behind the ball on a lot of your shots, and that's because your club bottoms out prior to hitting the ball. Oh. You kind of bounce the club behind the ball into it. I felt up. that, yeah. Yeah, and you're pretty consistent in, in what you do here, and you hit up on the ball, you know, on average, about four degrees. We'd like to see a negative up here, a negative number, which means you hit slightly on a descending strike. So I just I do want to get rid of this swing hit behind that one. So about 2.9 is your up path. So there's some things in your golf swing that help you make better contact. We'd love to see a slightly descending angle of attack there. Wow. Any questions on that? Is that, is that? is that something you notice yourself doing? Hitting behind the ball, yeah. I, yeah. Felt, I could feel it hit the ground before it hit the Probably ball. Probably will struggle. Fairway woods will be challenging too when you hit such a long golf club trying to hit it off the ground mm -hmm. and you hit up on the ball. Something a lot of folks have trouble with um, is uh, when they hit up on the ball like that. So let's look at your golf swing and maybe your setup to see if we can help you out initially just to correct some of that and then we'll continue capturing some swings. That's the tour player model. Mm -hmm. This is your golf swing over mm -hmm. here. The one thing I want to show you on the driver here is um, it's called spine. You can get your spine and angle number. It's a blue line right here. Mm -hmm. You can see this player has 90 degrees of straight up. This player's 93, so they're, they're tilted back away from the target. So here's our target over here. You guys are both hitting that way. Mm -hmm. They are tilted away from They got a little spine tilt here at 89. I'd love to see you create some of that feeling. Now, all it is. It's simply, look, if you look at me, for, think of, you're in the setup position, think of the buttons on your shirt and your belt buckle mm -hmm. tilting back this way. So, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So when you set up with a driver, you really, or any club for that matter, you really need to create that slight tilt. There's all this fitting equipment. They have all the golf heads and the different shafts and the different grips. And here they all are. So I brought my old golf clubs here. It's a pretty sad state of affairs. This is my driver right here. Um, it's a pretty old one. I think I won it in a contest. And over here is the new tailor-made driver. And let's take this over here to compare the difference. That's the difference in size between my old driver and the new. It's it's crazy. We just went out to the driving range and I used the new fitted clubs and they're really forgiving. What they have are these um, hybrid clubs. So um, this is a four hybrid club. You use this on the fairway and it's very forgiving. I was I would actually could see I was hitting it right here and still getting a pretty good shot. So this was a great experience getting fitted here at the TaylorMade Performance Lab. And this fitting was sponsored by TaylorMade. You can find them on Facebook and Twitter at TaylorMadeGolf.